When the reports started coming out that Shannon Sharp was done with Fox Sports, that they were buying out his contract, that he was leaving undisputed, that he was done with Skip Bayless, most people, even though, of course, it was stunning news to come out that way, they thought, you know what, makes a lot of sense. With everything we've seen from these guys on air, the friction between them over the last several months and years, it kind of made sense that Shannon Sharp was ready to get away from Skip Bayless. Well, today was his last day officially on Undisputed. The report said after the NBA Finals were done, he would be moving on. That's exactly what happened. However, I'm not sure if people expected it to be quite as emotional as it seemed to be on air. All the reports out there said that these guys, they're not friends. You know, they, they kind of hate each other. They're done with each other. But it was, it seemed, very emotional for both of them in this last moment. So Shannon Sharp says goodbye to Skip Bayless through tears. I gave you everything I had. I'm here because of you. Shannon Sharp was very, very complimentary to Skip Bayless through this entire thing. And, you know, Skip Bayless was also very complimentary to Shannon Sharp. So I want to watch this. About 2 minutes and 30 seconds, Shannon goes, then Skip goes. But so you can hear for yourself, you can see Shannon Sharp break down in tears as he's saying goodbye to this show in this part of his career. Yes. Skip Bayless, mm. you fought for me, bro. Did I? I'm here because of you. You've allowed me to share the stage with you. You've allowed me to share the platform. I'm going to cry in the car, but I'm not going to mm. cry now. The opportunity that you gave me to become what I became, I'm forever indebted to you. I'll never forget what you did for me. You've helped me grow more than you ever know. <sighs> okay, this is not easy for me either. And I saw some I saw some people in the comments be like fitting that that Skip would interrupt Shannon in the middle of his emotional goodbye. Obviously, it did seem like he was kind of done there, but it was fitting uh, just the way the show's gone, the way their relationship's gone. Thing. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pillow at night. You no, know, I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had. Which is why I want to thank you for all you have given to me. I've said it multiple times when I've talked about Shannon Sharp. I'm not a big Shannon Sharp on TV fan, right? I, I Obviously, these guys have a massive audience uh, like compared to anyone else out there other than maybe ESPN and First Take. Um, so a lot of people do like Shannon Sharp. I'm sure wherever he goes, it's going to be a big following if he wants to do stuff independently or if he goes to ESPN with Stephen A. Smith, like a lot of people are saying. I'm not a huge fan of him when he's talking about anything other specifically than football, but obviously, uh, he was able to do a lot in his seven years at Fox Sports 1, and this is a big part of his career, post-career, post-NFL career, coming to an end. When I first took this job back in June of 2016, we had a whole nother format in mind until it became clear Shannon Sharp is available. And I said, I believe he can do this. And did you ever? The critics just savaged us when we first started. Undisputed yep. will never last. FS1 will never last. I want to thank you for dedicating yourself to this job. It is a voracious beast yes. of a show, day after day after day. You dedicated yourself to this job just the way you dedicated yourself to professional football yes. as a Hall of Famer. I want to thank you for preparing as hard as you could every single day, every single topic. I want to thank you for competing as hard as you competed with me because the greatest compliment I can give you is you were a worthy adversary. Right. But I want to thank you and tell you that I love you for what you have done for, for me. And I'm going to, Shannon, I'm, I'm going to miss our diet do bets. I got no idea what he's pointing to on the side there. <laughs> you, you, owe me, you owe me a lot. I do, I do. I'm going to miss our LeBron battles, even though he's still the phony goat. <laughs> I, I'm going to miss our cowboy arguments. How about them cowboys? Because you were right about my Dallas Cowboys from day one. Right. In the end, I just want you to know that it was because of you you made possible a very, very special time in my career. And this is a happy, sad moment for me because I look forward to your next great achievement and it is coming. Yep. But tonight, I just want you to know, I will toast you with a Diet Mountain Dew. Thank you. So there you have it. And again, I've talked about this a while. I think this traditional mainstream media kind of adversarial debate, you take one side, I take the other, and we just do it day after day after day. I think that's getting a little old and stale. I think a lot of people are looking for more independent media to, to get their news from, to get their entertainment from. Uh, but you can't deny Skip Bayless, massive media personality. Shannon Sharp has become a massive media personality in his time with Skip Bayless on this show. And there's going to be a lot of interest to see where he goes from this point on. I thought it was interesting how emotional this goodbye was between both of them. With all the reports we've heard about how bad it is between them, how much Shannon Sharp wanted out, obviously, when it's all said and done, it's still a big part of your life, even if you're ready to move on. 
So let me know what you guys think about this entire thing in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.